this is a really big day in college football. Um, I won't be really long here because most of you guys have heard the stories. You, uh, There's been speculation that the uh, Big Ten and the Pac-12 uh, would pull the plug on their particular college football seasons. Uh, we're going to talk about in you know, a little bit why they may have done this. Uh, of course, the pandemic is still in hand. Go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle. Now, ever since the coronavirus pandemic has been a thing, uh, you know, it's been exhausting because whether it's your personal life, your business life, um, everything that surrounds how you maneuver as a human being in the United States, um, this particular thing has been a factor in your movement. Some of you guys have not seen uh, really close family members in a long time, and your normal way of life is not just, just not happening. I mean, you got kids that are having to choose between being educated from home versus being educated from their particular schools. Because I remember, you know, like when I was a kid, just looking forward to, especially going to middle school. I think about my son, he's going to middle school this year and not being able to fully grasp that particular experience. I think it's kind of unfair. Now the virus is what it is, but at the same time, when you think about it, about things from a humanistic standpoint, it just isn't fair. But as we move forward, uh, the big 10 has announced that they are surrendering any notion of having a college football season or fall sports for that matter. So the Ohio State versus Michigan game will not happen. Happen, Michigan versus Michigan State will not happen. All of those particular games, Ohio State versus Oregon, all that stuff is over. The rest of the nation is now on the spot as to whether they will have football as well. And it comes to a point where the ACC and the SEC, Big 12 has been pretty quiet on this, are now in a position to make a decision. Now, I was looking at some trends as far as the um, you know cases go, and it seems like the trend is starting to kind of taper off from what I could see for certain states. Of course, Alabama is starting to kind of uh, get to a peak level. Of course, Alabama would need to be one of those states that would plateau because there's going to be a lot of interconnectivity in the state of Alabama. When you talk about high school football and you talk about college football, if this thing is going to happen for real. And um, to be fair, I mean, I'm just sick of sick of the commentary uh, of this whole thing. You know, and I, I know a lot of you share my sentiments to where you just want to get back to things as close to normal as possible because this we're we're entering now a new normal to where we don't know what's going to happen next um but i'm actually glad the big 10 and the pac-12 have have actually made a decision and it just goes to show in, in normal life like just make a decision quit dangling the carrot if you know you this is not what you want to do or if this is not from a litigation standpoint from a liability standpoint what you're willing to to be up against let the kids know so they can move on once again it's canard vernon stewart here for the podcast talking auburn football real brief today not talking much about auburn football but just the mode of this whole uh situation in society at this point uh subscribe to vernon speak sports auburn as always it's great to be an auburn tiger war eagle